All right, so before you get started um, in InDesign, you should have your layout sketched on ha by hand, okay? And you should also have the images that you want to use in your board in a separate folder, somewhere on your computer. So mine are on my desktop here that you can see, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in InDesign and I'm going to use a tool called the Rectangle Frame Tool, okay? And this will allow me to create my layout, okay, in InDesign. Right, so the Rectangle Frame Tool is over here on the left-hand side in our toolbar. You can see here Rectangle Frame Tool in brackets F, that's the shortcut, okay? If you want, you can see anything with a black triangle in the bottom right hand corner has more options. So if you right click or double click on that little triangle, you can see I can create a polygon or an ellipse. But for the purposes of this, I'm going to stick with my rectangle. So you can see when I bring my mouse onto the screen, my cursor has changed to a little dot and then four lines coming out from that dot. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click here where my guides meet my margin lines and I'm going to drag up and across and you guys can see a rectangle has been added with a cross through the center of it all right so and then my tool options up the top here have all changed okay so this is telling me where it's placed how big it is the width and the height all right I can make this bigger or smaller from these methods as well with these methods here, okay, if I want to, horizontally and vertically, I can change the angle, so I could type 90, and it would change it like that, or I could do 45, and it'll turn on an angle, okay, I'm going to pop that guy back to zero though, then I've got rotate buttons here, so I could just rotate it around if I wanted to, and then these guys here, I've got uh, my fill options, so the color inside the square, and also my stroke, okay, so the border of my page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here, and I'm just going to click black, all right, and I can choose the thickness and the line type, and then I can increase that here if I wanted to as well. So three mils, probably a bit thick, one, that's quite nice. The reason I'm doing this is so that before I start placing my images in design, I can, into InDesign, sorry, I can see that my layout is correct. Okay, so I've got my layout, my first box here. So what I can do is I can copy and paste this box, okay, if it's the right size that I want it to be. So I'm going to click my selection tool arrow up the top here, the black one, and you can see it's still, still selected. I know it's still selected because it's got these little blue squares around the outside. Okay, so I'm going to click on it and I'm going to copy and paste using the shortcuts on my keyboard. All right, every time you copy and paste something in InDesign, it always comes to the center of the page. So then you click on it with your black arrow and you move it into your guide. Okay. So I can see it's maybe just a little bit too big. Yeah, so that looks a bit better. And I'm just trying to line it up nice and evenly on my page. So I've got my two boxes here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select two. So I'm going to click on the first one, hold shift, click on the second one. And you can see now the selection block goes around the two of them. And I'm going to copy and paste using the shortcuts on my keyboard again, which are Command-C and Command-V on a Mac. Right, I can pop them there. I'm going to paste them again. And I'm going to pop two here. And then I'm going to copy one and paste one and pop it over here. All right, so to start with, I have got my image boxes, okay? And these are created with our rectangle frame tool over here, as I said, in the left-hand side toolbar. And eventually we will place these, our images for our board into these rectangles, okay? So you need to create rectangle frame boxes for all of the images that you guys are going to put into 
you're bored. 